a court in Uganda has convicted Thomas Koyelo, a former commander of the Lord's Resistant Army or the LRA of dozens of crimes against humanity in a landmark case that has sparked debates about the criminal culpability of former child soldiers. The charges included murder, rape, torture, pillaging, abduction and destruction of settlements for internally displaced people. The judge said, adding that Coyello was found not guilty of three counts of murder and that 31 alternate offences were dismissed by the court in the northern Ugandan city of Gulu. Coyello's conviction makes him the first and only high-profile LRA soldier to be tried for war crimes by a court in the East African country. His former commanders, including Joseph Konyi, however, remain at large. A Ugandan court found Thomas Koyelo, a senior commander in the Lord's Resistance Army, guilty of dozens of war crimes. This is the first time a Ugandan court has tried a senior LRA member. The verdict is the first conclusive trial by Uganda's International Crimes Division against an LRA commander. It potentially sets a precedent for future prosecutions. The Ugandan military captured Koyelo in 2009 in the jungles of northeastern Congo. He has been in pre-trial detention since then, as his case moved slowly through the Ugandan court system. Koyelo was indicted on 93 war crimes, charges related to murder, rape, enslavement, torture and abductions. The court found him guilty on 44 charges, dismissed 31 as duplications and acquitted him on three. The LRA, led by Joseph Kunyi, terrorized northern Ugandan and neighboring countries for over two decades. While Kunyi remains at large, several former LRA commanders have faced justice, including Dominic Ongwen, convicted by the International Criminal Court in 2021. Earlier in 2024, International judges awarded victims of Ugandan child soldier turned commander Dominic Ongwen over 52 million euros in reparations, saying women and children especially suffered serious and long-lasting harm. Ongwen, who was himself abducted at the age of nine by the rebel group led by fugitive Joseph Kunyi, was found guilty in 2021 and sentenced to 25 years behind bars for war crimes and crimes against humanity. The Chamber is satisfied that setting the amount of Mr. Ongwen's liability for operations at an amount of 52,429,000 euros is fair, equitable and appropriate and takes into account the rights of the victims and those of the convicted person. The crimes were committed while Ongwen was part of Kunyi's Lord's Resistance Army that carried out a reign of terror in northern Uganda in the early 2000s. Ongwen, who is in his mid-40s but whose birth date remains unclear, became a senior commander in Kunyi's LRA under the Norm de Guer of White Ant. Prosecutors portrayed him as leading a reign of terror by the LRA, personally ordering the massacres of over 130 civilians at five refugee camps between 2002 and 2005. The LRA is responsible for the deaths of more than 100,000 people and the kidnapping of 60,000 children, with boys transformed into child soldiers and girls kept as sex slaves. ICC prosecutor Kareem Khan in 2022 said he will ask judges to confirm charges against Kunyi despite his absence, as the rebel leader is still at large. Ongwin's trial was unique in the history of the ICC as it was the first time dealing with a former victim, a child soldier who became a perpetrator. Africa Bureau, We On World is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.